Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll cover a special type of transformation, the ambiguous case of transformation. You know probably from a uh, sign rule, whenever you have done that, you have seen that um, uh, sign rule um, may give you some ambiguous case, two different answers. In transformation, when this thing happens, we call that ambiguous case of transformation. I'll just uh, explain that today in this lecture. Okay, I have two diagrams, diagram one and diagram two. Look at this diagram two. I'll start with diagram two. I have this object with vertices of a triangle A, B, and C. The coordinates are given. And then this let, let this purple triangle be the uh, image of this triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. And if you are looking at the vertices A, A prime, B, B prime, C, C prime, so it gives us an idea since we already have done the uh, reflection. Probably this, this triangle reflected on some special line over here. Okay, if I fold it through this, this midpoint over here with a slant line, slant, slant line, then probably uh, this, this, this point have the image over here. Okay, let's let's draw this slant line. Okay, um, it's uh, I'm just guessing probably it's gonna be y equal to minus x. You know that this is y equal to minus x axis, um, uh, y equal to minus x line. So if I just join that and make this line over here y equal to minus x, you can see that if I fold this paper through this midpoint, uh, the origin over here is zero zero then diagonally from here this a is diagonally two units away and this side two units away so i can say that this is the image of this point a is it true for c let's see diagonally uh the perpendicular on this line one two three and half units and this one over here half one two three three and half units so it it's, it's pretty much, uh, we can be sure pretty much of this one that this is the image of this triangle after it's reflecting on the uh, line y equal to minus x. And I hope you remember that transformation matrix, multiply the object, I'm always going to get the image. Okay. And the transformation matrix over here, when it's um, rotate, uh, reflect on y equal to minus x axis, the transformation matrix would be 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0. And then object would be with coordinates 2, 2, 5, 2, and 2, 5. Okay, if I use this different color to write down the vertices A, B, and C. When we multiply this, okay, let me write down here. So 0, my, zero times 2 is 0, this minus 2, so same way matrix multiplication minus 2 then minus 5 and in this case minus 2 minus 5 and minus 2 and that's gonna be a prime b prime c prime and you can see that a prime is minus 2 minus 2 b prime's coordinates are minus 2 minus 5 and c prime's coordinates are minus 5 minus 2 so this is the case over here that's pretty simple um, no problem here but now concentrate on diagram one. Okay. Uh, you can see that object and image is almost the same way. But look at these two coordinates, B prime, C prime. It's just switch over here. On the place of C prime, I have B prime. And on the place of B prime, I have C prime. So definitely, this is not an example of reflection. Okay. It's, it's this one reflected. Reflected on y equal to minus x line okay slant line y equal to minus x this one is not the reflection so what it can be now if i rotate it through this origin like this okay i 180 degree i can see that this purple and this red actually looks the same so one way we can uh, know that this is a 180 degree rotation um, clockwise or anti-clockwise doesn't matter okay since this when I rotate this B comes over here followed by C okay so this is gonna be 
180 degree rotation about the origin zero zero okay so that's one way and we know that uh, whenever we rotate 180 degree the transformation matrix is minus one zero zero minus one okay pretty good uh, we know that this is 180 degree rotation clockwise or anti-clockwise but then again look at this if I join this the point with corresponding point of its image and then C C prime if I join that and if I join B B prime corresponding points okay they pass through this origin again zero zero but we can see that it's something like another transformation we have learned enlargement okay the object this changes its direction okay it's flip flop so when it's this case then we can say it's enlargement enlargement about the origin zero zero we call that center of enlargement let's put this one center of enlargement and scale factor since from here is the same one and two diagonally two units away from the origin uh, uh, yeah, center of enlargement and this image is uh, diagonally two units from this origin or um, the center of enlargement then the scale factor is going to be minus one and the formula transformation matrix of enlargement is k zero zero k and since they are equally distanced from the center of enlargement so uh, that's unit one um, scale factor would be scale factor would be minus one then if i replace k by minus one then it's minus one zero zero minus one the enlargement about the origin scale factor minus one okay then this now look at this this and this are the same okay 180 degree rotation about the origin and enlargement about the origin with a scale factor negative one is the same okay now which one is right if you get this type of question in the exam which one is right the answer is either one is right okay so don't be confused um, you can write down it's 180 degree rotation about the origin uh, zero zero or you can write down enlargement center of enlargement is the origin or zero zero and a scale factor is minus one either one is correct and this is since we can write the answer in more than one way we call this one ambiguous case of enlargement okay i hope you like it you loved it Okay, see you in my next video. Thank you. Have a good day.